Welcome back everyone. In this video tutorial we're going to cover a .NET Nuke installation using the newest version of .NET Nuke, which at the time of this video is 7.2.1. And uh, this is, video is kind of picking up where we left off with our other video tutorials. Uh, basically we've already set up the database and the website on our server and we're actually ready to deploy .NET Nuke onto the website. So if you have any questions on how to set up your SQL database or how to create your website inside of IES and the folder system on your server, uh, then please see the appropriate video tutorials that we've posted to cover those topics because uh, this video is going to pick up where we left off with those. Um, basically as you can see we're on the desktop of our virtual server already and uh, right here we have our notepad document that we had saved in the uh, previous database setup video. Here we jotted down all of the uh, database connection information. Uh, the reason we did this is because we're going to need this information as we go through the actual .NET Nuke installation here in just a moment. Uh, so this is why you'll see in the database video we had recommended to save this information. Uh, so let's just hop right into it. It's actually quite simple. Basically, you just want to go down to the uh, File Explorer icon here on your server. Left click to open that up. And then in your File Explorer view here, um, you just want to get your DNN install pack, which we've already pre-downloaded pre to the Downloads folder here. You can see right here we have the newest version that we downloaded off of the .NET Nuke official website. If you don't already have the install pack, you can easily get it at any time. Just open up Internet Explorer, uh, which is on your start menu here. And in Internet Explorer, you can go to their main website, which is dnnsoftware.com. And on their main website, uh, right up here at the top, they have this little arrow, uh, which will take you to the download to get the DNN platform page. And on this page here, you can find the uh, install package for the newest version of .NET Nuke. They also have the upgrade version and some other uh, code information if you ever need that stuff. Uh, so this is what you would download right here. But we already have it, so uh, basically we're just going to copy this zip file. And then we're going to paste it into the uh, folder system of our actual domain here real quick. Which is right here. This is the www root folder of the domain that we're working with. I'm going to paste that in, and then we're going to right-click on it and extract here. Uh, this is actually using WinRAR, uh, which will already be installed on your server. It's just a uh, zip utility program. All right, so you'll see here that actually extracted all the files out of the DNN installation pack and put them into our www root folder. Uh, the install pack itself is no longer needed, plus we have a copy in our downloads folder should we need it again. So you can safely delete that once you've extracted everything out of it. All right, so that pack is gone now. All right, so basically at this point, uh, you're all ready to actually launch the website. Assuming that you've set up everything correctly, uh, .NET Nuke should automatically launch, and we should get the installation wizard. So we'll go ahead and pull up our website right now, which is ihostdnn.net is the test URL we're using. Uh, obviously, you would type in whatever the URL for your website or IP address is. And uh, definitely be patient with it the first time you open it up. Uh, DNN does have to compile a lot of things and uh, create some cache and stuff the first time you open it. So it can take anywhere between a good 5 to 30 seconds. Uh, but this is the screen that you should see. This is the actual installation wizard. So .NET Nuke has launched on the website and is ready to install. In order for that to happen, uh, DNN has to actually... Uh, connect to the database that you created earlier. So that's what we have this information here for, so we can fill out the installation form. So getting to the form here, uh, by default, this is going to be create your host user on the actual website. Uh, you can leave the username as host, uh, or you could pick a new one. I always work with just host. Uh, we need to create a password for our host user. So I recommend using your notepad here again so that you can save this. And we'll just jot down host for the username. And then the password we're going to create. Um, I'm going to just create something strong and random here. So we'll just generate some uh, random letters. Make sure you use some capitals and some lowercase and a few symbols and then we'll throw in some numbers for some good measures as well. So you can make it complex because you're going to save it and then you'll just have the password later. So we're going to copy this password right here as you can see that we created. Copy it. Come over to your .NET Nuke install wizard and got the username host. We'll paste the password that we've created here and here. The website name uh, technically, you could just leave this as my website. You can adjust this information inside of .NET Nuke at a later time. So you could just leave this stuff default, or you know, if you want to go ahead and name it, iHostDNN.net is our website. Uh, you know, you can put in whatever your website title or or name or URL is going to be here, and you want to come down 
to the database setup. Uh, you're going to choose custom, which is already selected by default. And then for database type, you're going to choose SQL Server slash SQL Server Express database, this second option on the right here. All right, and that'll plug in the server name. This is actually uh, local. That's what this means right here, dot backward slash SQL Express. That is the generic universal uh, server name to connect to your local SQL Express. Uh, so this will actually work great for your VPS situation. You can just leave that as is. And then you need to plug in the database name. That we're going to get from our text document that we had saved in our last video. You can see right here we had named our database iHost DNN. And that's exactly why we saved this information because it's very hard to remember when you're doing all this stuff. Uh, you know, what you had named things or what passwords you had set. And it has to be exact, so you need to remember that information. The object qualifier, you're going to want to leave blank. Uh, there's really no need to use this in most cases. What this would do is actually append a qualifier to the front of all of your DNN tables inside of the database. Um, by default, it'll just use the DBO database owner uh, user for that object qualifier, and that's really ideal. That's what you would want. So, in most cases, I would recommend to just leave this blank. Um, you know, if you're more advanced with uh, .NET Nuke and database work, you may have a reason to use this option. Uh, but you know, you'd be aware of that if you wanted to use it. So. Leave that blank. Move on to the security tab here. Uh, you're going to want to use user defined security. When you choose that, you'll notice it actually opens up two new options that weren't here a moment ago database username, database password. Uh, that is the information that we created on our SQL database in the earlier tutorial video, and that's the same info that we have on this text document. So, again, uh, you'll see this information is very useful to have at all times. So, we're just going to copy our username here put that in for the database username and then we're going to copy our database password and paste that in here and then you always want to run database as database owner that should be checked already if it's not make sure you check it that's very important uh, so that it has the proper permission to create all this information so when we click continue here this is going to take all the information we typed in and it's going to attempt to connect to our database assuming that we got everything correct uh, you should see it flash yellow right in the middle of the screen here for just half an instant uh, that it's actually establishing the connection with the database and then it should take us to the next screen uh, if the information is wrong Wrong. there's a typo in here somewhere uh, it'll actually give you a notification and tell you that uh, it can't connect to the database and then you need to double check your information so let's see what happens all right so you may have noticed that uh, it flashed yellow there for a quick instant while it connected to the database. Uh, this next screen here is just completely automated at this point. Uh, DNN is going to go ahead and just run through the installation process. You can see the timer keeping track here and a little preview to show you exactly how far along it is and what it's actually doing. Well, it's just running a bunch of scripts on the database, generating all the tables, users, and information uh, for your actual DNN install. This uh, actual automated install process usually doesn't take more than about uh, maybe 30 to 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds at the absolute most. Um, it should just breeze through the installation process, and uh, you'll know when it's done here by the percent and the blue bar. All right, so there you go. You can see that it finished in about 43 seconds. It's telling us the installation is complete. And uh, now we have the blue Visit Website button, so you just want to click on that. And this is going to go ahead and load up your DNN website for the very first time. Uh, definitely we're going to have to be patient with it on this first initial load. It has a lot of uh, compilations and cache and things that it needs to build on the server for the first time startup. Uh, so probably going to take about 30 seconds or so here for the website to come up for the first time. So we'll just be patient with it and we should see our website here in just a moment. All right, and there you go. It has now refreshed and brought up our brand new .NET Nuke website. Uh, this little window that pops up here in the middle is like a first time familiarize yourself with DNN pop-up. Uh, they have some really good tutorial videos in here. So if you're not familiar with DNN, I would highly recommend uh, maybe watching some of these videos. It'll show you some very uh, important common tasks inside of DNN, uh, how to get started, adding pages, installing modules, uh, finding new extensions through their wizard, uh, all that kind of good stuff. They also have these video tutorials along with much more uh, at their official website, uh, dnnsoftware.com. Uh, so if you're already familiar with DNN, you can just move past this. Uh, there's a little don't show me option down here at the bottom if you don't want this to pop up again in the future. 
and close that and now you'll see that you're actually on your brand new DNN website. Uh, by default it'll log you in as the host user that you created during the installation wizard. Um, so we'll show you how you log in real quick. Basically we just want to log out of the website and uh, this information that you set up as the host user during your uh, installation just a moment ago is actually the user that you'll log into your website with to edit and uh, change content on your website as well as manage the website. The host user of .NET Nuke has the highest level to the D uh, highest level of access to the DNN installation. So it's very important that you hang on to this information. Uh, you can change the password anytime inside of DNN to a password you're more comfortable with. Uh, just make sure it's a very strong, secure password. You would never want somebody to gain host access to your website. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and copy this password here because we're going to need it to log in. And if uh, you're back on your website here, you can see that it logged out. We click the log out button. Uh, so this is what your website would look like when you're just first arriving at it and not already logged in. Uh, none of the control options are visible across the top here. So we're going to go ahead and click the login button here. And username is host. And then we're just going to paste in that password uh, that we had created from our notepad right here. Alright, so click login, and Internet Explorer prompts if we would like to save the password. That's up to you personally, I usually don't save my passwords. But uh, So here you can see that we're now logged in as the host user, and you have all of the uh, admin host menus and tools available to actually edit the website. Uh, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of options and areas that were not visible a moment ago. You can manage users, roles, add new pages, uh, add modules, find new modules, install modules, skins, etc. Uh, you can actually edit the pages now uh, using these options. All of the uh, individual modules that you see on the page, these boxes full of text, uh, they can actually be edited as well. Um, so pretty much you're all done at this point. Your .NET Nuke site's all set up and ready to be used, and uh, you can pretty much just start designing and building your website at that point. Uh, so hopefully you found this uh, video tutorial useful, and uh, we're definitely going to go through a similar series here for some other popular platforms such as WordPress. Uh, so look forward to those video tutorials. We'll have them up soon, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at those tutorials. Take care.